PPC Heroes video tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up conversion tracking in Google AdWords. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're logged in to your Google AdWords account. Now you don't need to have any of your campaigns running to set up conversion tracking, but you do need to have the account set up. So we're going to go to our reporting and tools tab and click on conversions from the drop down menu. We'll then go into creating a new conversion. There is a new conversion button with the blue plus sign. Press that and it will ask, ask you to name your action. You're going to want to name this as close to what the conversion is as possible. So here you can see we have a submit a contact form, which would be a good conversion name. However, for the purpose of this video, I will call it test3 and I will uh, choose its tracking purpose as other. I will save and continue and Google is going to take me to the code tab. In the code tab, it's going to first ask me what page security level we have. There are two choices, HTTP and HTTPS. HTTPS means that you have SSL security on your page. A lot of um, websites that accept money have HTTPS security, so e-commerce especially. Um, today, however, we're only working with a uh, website that does not take money from the website, so we will be using HTTP. You can also put in revenue for your conversion here. So for example, say that you have research that shows every time you get a um, proposal submitted, you usually get around $100. That would be a good amount to put into here so that you can better learn how to prioritize and plan your marketing online schemes. So we're not going to put that in today, but do keep that in mind. The next thing Google is going to offer or, or ask you to do is to set up your tracking indicator settings. This lets people know that uh, you and Google are tracking their information when they go online to make the conversion. Now Google highly suggests that you do this and they even provide you two different um, uh, small text that you can put in with different colors options. However, if you have the um, your tracking information in your privacy policy, you do not need to do this as long as it's clearly marked in the privacy policy. So we are going to click none because the page I'm working with has this in the privacy policy. I'm going to press save and get the code now. And Google has generated it. Now here's the part that a lot of people get uh, a little bit worried about is where to put the conversion tracking code. Now I'll show you, it's not too hard. I have pulled up the code for my tr um, conversion page, landing page. Um, here. And you can see that it looks pretty daunting, especially to people who are not um, developers. However, all I'm going to need to do is put it near the bottom between, between my body um, tags. So I'm going to copy this, go into my text edit. We can see that um, we have our uh, body text all the way down here. I'm going to want to go to the bottom to where I see this backslash body. This is not the footer, mind you, but just the bottom of the actual page. I am going to save my page here, and then I can upload it onto the website, and the conversion tracking will be in. Now, the one tricky part that you really need to watch out for is that you want to put this code not on the page that has the conversion button, but the page you reach after someone clicks on that conversion button. So, let me show you an example. Say this is our landing page. I got here from clicking on an ad, and enter, entering a search query and then clicking on an ad. I have now entered in all my information and I'm going to request a proposal. So this is the page where we do not want the code to be on. So I request the proposal and I am taken to this um, page, this page that uh, thanks me for uh, doing my conversion. This is the page where the conversion code will be that you want to put it. It's actually a fairly simple concept, conversion coding, conversion tracking. It just says that there are certain pages that can only be reached once you've made a conversion. So usually this is an order confirmation or a thank you page. And that is where the tracking goes. So um, now that we have our conversion tracking implemented, there are a few ways to check to see if it's working. Let's walk through these really quickly. Let's say that I've already uploaded my conversion tracking as this page already has. One way to check would be to view the page source. So I'm going to double click on the page and scroll down to view page source. It will take me to a page that shows all the coding um, in HTML format. I will go down to the bottom to see whether or not I can see the Google tracking code. And here it is right here. You can see it says Google code for submit contact form conversion page, which is what I named that code. 
and um, it is above the body, right where it should be. So that's the easiest way to check if it's in, and that's the way that Google suggests. Another way to check would be is if on this page you see that little um, tracking indicator here, if you often do that, that would be another way to show it. And the final way is a little expensive for you, but you can go through, click on your ad, and then make a conversion, a test conversion. Make sure everyone who manages the account knows that this conversion is not um, from an outside source, but is from yourself. Then, if you uh, log into Google AdWords, you will see the conversion from your ad right in the, um, in the viewing window. Now, this can sometimes takes 24 hours to propagate, so make sure that if you don't see it, you give it enough time to register. And that's all it is for conversion tracking. Now, conversion tracking is exceptionally important when you are working with your PPC um, accounts, so I hope this tutorial has been helpful, and stay tuned for more tutorials from PPC Hero and Hannapin Marketing. Thank you for tuning in to Hannapin Marketing's video blog. For more news and information about the pay-per-click industry, check out our blog at ppchero.com and our Twitter account, PPC Hero.